What's up guys, I'm IW Rocker and uh, I have a pretty uh, out of ordinary video for you guys today, but it's kind of important. So I started filming a different video and the video I'm making now is based on discovery I made while filming this other video. And uh, I'm gonna keep it as short as simple as I can for you guys. And it has to do with um, particularly the Car Guru's uh, online website for, you know, finding uh, vehicles online. So, you know, there's the big names like Car Gurus, Auto Trader, Cars.com, uh, sites like that. Uh, this can happen, honestly, on any of these sites. And right now, I've been using Car Gurus lately because they seem, at least I thought, to be pretty um, reliable. They had a lot of listings and such. And uh, now I'm finding out that's not the case. And I'm simply making this video to try to help the public as like a public service just in case um you know this can maybe help you or at least help you be more aware because buying a vehicle whether it be used or new um you know five thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars doesn't matter it's a big decision and you want to make sure you get the exact car that you want and that's in good shape and that's a good price and you know where it's at some people want to travel far to get a nice car some people want to keep it close and um Either way, you need to know everything you're looking at. It's not fair if you if you don't have that information. So I'm gonna explain what's going on here. So I have to show you on my phone um, and I'll show you why. So basically, let me explain. The vehicle is gonna be searching for the most expensive Rams in the country. And I went on my phone, I was on the couch as I thought of this and I started looking to prep for the video and then I was gonna go film the intro and then record my PC screen and do a voiceover while looking on the PC on Car Gurus to find these same trucks and make a video about it. So I found you know all these custom Rams on the phone, the uh, website. This is on the Safari, you know, Apple Internet here. This isn't even a Car Gurus app. It's just the internet through the phone. It's an iPhone and. As you can see, there's like custom trucks for really expensive. Okay, there's like 87,000, 82,000, you know, uh, 79,000. There's all these custom trucks, and uh, I was gonna make a pretty cool video with these, kind of reacting to them and looking at them. Um, but the purpose here is that these are on here, and you'll see that there is, this is really important, there is 14,433 trucks listed on here nationwide and this is for ram 2500s any price range um you know all used and the problem is that when you do the exact same search criteria nationwide ram 2500 all years you go to highest price first as i did on the phone now no matter what it only shows 2000 listings and that's not the main issue the real issue i mean it's related but the real issue is that you scroll down past the sponsored crap and uh, none of these trucks are on there. It's showing a bunch of regular stock trucks that are, you know, basically new. Um, and remember, I have this used, okay? And it's not showing any of the custom trucks. It's not showing any trucks nowhere near $80,000 plus. The most expensive one is sixty four. dollars and that's just for a new truck in Texas. And the problem with this is that the, I started messing with this, searching for different trucks, different price ranges, and doing the exact same search on the computer and on the phone. So the problem is, every time I do the exact same searches, the computer is only showing half the story. It's not pulling up anywhere near the amount of listings and accurate listings as the phone version is. And I just think this is really weird. I don't know if it's some sort of glitch or some weird thing. Maybe the site is under maintenance right now or uh, it's just some sort of freak thing. But I immediately thought, you know what? I tried to duplicate this multiple times and every time it is missing listings only on the PC version of the website. I just think that's kind of crazy because usually websites are bigger and better on the computer and on your phone they're compressed down you'd think on the phone maybe it's missing some ver some version of the website or some features of the website so this is just like a buyer beware when you're looking for a car 
you might want a specific car, a specific version, a specific price range. Um, maybe you want to travel far to get the best one. Maybe you don't want to travel far and you can't afford to do that and you want to find the best one locally. Well, this is a big deal because this, you know, you could miss out on a really good deal. Sometimes there's those deals that are just the right one. And if you're looking on the PC version, you might be missing some of the story. You might be missing out on that truck or that car that would have been right for you at a good price very close and you might have missed out on it. Um, whereas if you would have looked on the phone or had known to look on the phone, you might have found it because it shows all the listings and the website on the PC doesn't. So that's about it. Um, like I said, hopefully this will be fixed. Maybe it was a freak thing. Maybe it's not the same for you. I hope it isn't. I hope it's better for you. Um, this is just something I wanted to address because this could be a big deal and uh, could really make car buying harder than it already is. So please be aware. I guess my thing is look at both the computer and the phone when you're on Auto Trader or Car Gurus or whatever because uh, sometimes they're not consistent and that's not good when you're trying to find out every angle on buying a car. So just be careful. Make sure and do heavy research whenever you're buying a vehicle and uh, don't count on just one website or one version of that website for that matter. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Throw a like on there if you found this helpful and uh, subscribe for more automotive content. And like always guys, I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and, oh my god, I can't do this now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right when I was about to go.